All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your autoresponder. And uh, what I use is GetResponse. This is my email marketing platform. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you what mine looks like real fast. Okay, so uh, I have a day zero, one, two, three, all the way up to 34. And I have three messages going out per day. And uh, what day zero is, basically is just the um, the day that uh, someone opts into your list so it's the exact moment that they punch in their information press enter then they automatically receive this message into their email and then they receive this one two hours after that and they receive this one four hours after that and that's how I have every day set up all the way up to 34 days of auto response so um, this is how I would recommend doing it and make sure that you have different messages you can't you don't want to use the same message because eventually um, it'll just it'll start getting recognized as spam and then people are not going to receive it in their inbox so you got to make sure that you're using different messages so um, I'll go ahead and walk you through it and show you how to make one of these okay this is my current campaign so this is just starting from scratch. So we'll go to create an autoresponder right here. And you want to leave it on day zero for the first day. Um, or if from the day they opt in, you want to have them receive a message right away. So you leave it on day zero. And then as you go, you know, you can make a, another message for day one, day two, day three, etc. So we'll go ahead and create a new email. I'm just going to make a quick, like, just a quick one just for demonstration purposes. So, let's see. Okay, that's going to be the subject line. We'll go to next. And they have pre-made templates, but I mean... I feel like the best way to do it is just to start from scratch and then click right here on the blank template. And uh, so you could add a header, text block, image block. Um, these ones I wouldn't really even worry about. It's better just to use these two. I mean, you can use these if you want, but I prefer just to add a text block. I'm just making a little quick message off the top of my head. And we'll make a link to your um, offer page. This is where you're going to add your offer page link right here. So I'll go ahead and grab mine. This one right here. And paste it right here. Okay. And uh, let's see. Sorry about that. So I'm going to add an image just so I can show you how it's done. Let's do a search, just a quick search.
of all in this instance you can just go ahead and go to your images and then you can upload your own so now let's say that you have one on your computer already you would click on this and then uh, you just click on the image that you want and then open and then it'll upload it to here and then you just click on your image and yeah I mean obviously this doesn't make sense but this is just you know demonstration so uh, what I like to do is I also like to add links to my images so I'll go ahead and do that right here and paste the link in there as well okay so the message is pretty much good to go so what we'll do is um, we'll try to make it make sure it doesn't go into the spam folder like by clicking here and then you click on this right here as long as there's no text going past this red line you're good to go so you can go ahead and close it and then let's go to the next step and then um, yeah that's pretty much it you just click save and publish and then if it says this you just want to click yes send them the message and um, okay so it's showing this is my original campaign so that's why it's not showing up you gotta make sure you're in the right campaign so we'll uncheck that and then we'll check this one and there it is there's your message so there's one message in day zero and then there's you know if you want to add a message day one just click there gotta make sure that this is it's it shows up and you just click the, the plus button right here and then you basically just go through the same process and if you want to add another message in day zero just click the, the uh, click the plus button okay and since this is your second message um, you pretty much do everything the same except um, you got to make sure that you change this with a delay of and then I would say do at least a two hour gap in between messages and you're good to go so uh, that's it for this video uh, I got the link up above if you if you want to sign up and get response and go ahead and set this up for yourself so um, that's it for this one have a good one